In this video, we will do several experiments, which show that our brain modifies our vision. For each experiment, we will then see an example, to see what it implies in real life. Let's start with an astonishing experiment, that allows us to discover, that we have a blind spot in our eyes. Before we start, switch to full screen mode for easier experiments. Place your left hand in front of your left eye, so that you can only see with your right eye. Now stare at the left black dot with your right eye. The green dot should disappear and reappear. You can even vary the location of the disappearance, by varying the distance of your head from the screen. If the green dot does not disappear, you must be too far from the screen. Strangely, we are not aware of this blind spot, because our brain fills it with surrounding parts. Now let's try to see how our brain does the filling. Keep your left hand in front of your left eye, and your right eye on the black dot. If you are in full screen, the disappearing distance is approximately 39 inches for a computer screen, and 10 inches for a smartphone. We have our green dot which has disappeared as expected. But by filling in, our brain transformed a broken line into a continuous line, which shows that our brain can mislead us in everyday life. Before looking at a real life example, and how to avoid this, let's quickly look at, why we have this blind spot in our eyes. If we look at this schema, we see that the blind spot, is the part that is in the extension of the optic nerve. It's a part that has no photosensitive receptors. It can only be seen in monocular vision. If we now look in binocular vision, the image of the black dot and square arrives on parts of the left eye which are photosensitive, which allows the brain to complete the missing part of the right eye. In everyday life, this phenomenon occurs without our realizing it. However, the objects will probably be less contrasted with the background. It will therefore, be less obvious to see a clear disappearance, we will have more of a filling effect, which will attenuate the perception of movement. To illustrate, everything we have just seen, let's look at a collision between bicycles. You must have seen the cyclist on the right arrive. Even if the cyclist in front of us, obstructs the vision slightly, however, our cyclist did not see it. This is a recurrent phenomenon, in road accidents, we very often hear people, who have suffered an accident, say that they did not see it coming. Let's analyze in slow motion, what just happened. At first, he must have seen the cyclist, on the right coming, and must have thought, he was going to stop. After that, we see that the cyclist on his left, passes close to him. At this moment, our cyclist is concentrated on the two bikes on the left, and sees only on the right side, in monocular vision, from the corner of the right eye. During this time, the two cyclists on his right, who are both in dark colors, appear to him as one, due to the phenomenon of filling the blind spot. Especially if our cyclist focuses on the red cyclist. Then suddenly the cyclist appears, and it's too late. It is collision. This kind of accident has happened to all of us, or will happen to us, and we generally put it down to a lack of attention. But, we see a great similarity with the experiences we have just seen, on the blind spot. It is difficult to know exactly, what happened in the head of the cyclist. But this video illustrates well, the type of circumstance, where the blind spot can induce an accident. It is possible to have other visual field defects, this is called scotoma. They are associated with pathologies such as macular degeneration, brain trauma, diabetic retinopathy or simply migraines. They can be temporary or permanent. The central image represents what people see with a large scotoma, in the central part of the vision. If we look at the image on the right, we have the other extreme. There are people with small scotomas in the peripheral zone, who do not realize their visual field defects. In fact, their brain fills in the missing parts. This is called, filling in, or, perceptual completion. These people are still more likely to bump into objects or fall. They often think it's due to a lack of attention. We are now going to trick our brain, into believing that we have a visual field deficiency, by creating an artificial scotoma. This will be our red square, 
It has been observed that this illusion only works for 80% of people. If you stare at the black dot in the center, without moving for 15 seconds, the red square should disappear for at least a few seconds. We won't get the same feeling as a real scotoma or the brain would have had months or years to train, especially since our red square is very contrasted with the background. For it to work, don't think about the disappearance of the red square, but just focus on the black dot as if looking far ahead. In Marriott's blind spot experiments, our brains first filled in white, then filled in a broken line in black. In this experiment we now see that it can even reproduce a pattern. In fact it works so well and in real time, that we don't even realize our Marriott task. Now, let's see what it can look like in real life. For the phenomenon to occur, you have to be staring, so a highway can do the trick. We also saw, that our scotoma should not be too large for filling in to occur, making the disappearance of a vehicle difficult. On the other hand, there is a phenomenon that you have undoubtedly already experienced in the car. It's the fact that a dirty windshield bothers you less after a while. To reproduce this phenomenon, we will take a still image to make it easier. We will try to make this stain disappear. To do this, we will look at the cross, which represents our gaze at the horizon for 10 seconds. Like earlier, you have to keep your gaze fixed. We see that the stain on the windshield is replaced by the blue sky. In fact, we realize that a significant number of stains on the windshield have disappeared, and therefore, our brain can manage a significant number of scotomars. What can we learn from this video? We have seen that we must maintain binocular vision and that we must keep our eyes moving when we drive. Otherwise, our brain will mislead us by filling certain parts of our visual field. Hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like and share this video to support the channel.